Today, I want to discuss the charging of the spare batteries for an RFD 8500 Zebra RFID mobile reader. While the batteries can be charged in the device in its cradle, you may also want to charge the spare batteries that you would have on hand. You do that using the two slot battery charger by Zebra, the SAC-T55-2BTYC1. It charges two batteries simultaneously. First of all, to open the device, stick your finger nail underneath this tab on the cover and the cover comes right off. And it has two sides and you remove both the covers. To insert the batteries, put the three tabs on the corresponding holes on the charger and hinge it down until it locks in place. A little tip is to push the battery up underneath the tab to ensure a good connection. We'll do the same with the other battery. Put them in the slots, hinge it down, snaps into place, and then I'll gently push it underneath that tab to ensure a good, good connection. To put the battery doors back on, they just snap into place. I put it on the bottom first and then I just hinge it down and snap it into place. This now requires to be either inserted into a cradle or a charging cup. Uh, the cradle, five slot cradle, would, you allow, would allow you to put five of these in, charging 10 batteries simultaneously. Today I'll just be using this charging cup that's connected to an AC outlet. Simple, just plug the cup into this cable. And you'll notice that the battery, the indicator lights will start blinking green. That shows that they're charging. If they're solid green, that means the battery has completed charge and is ready to use. If it is a red flashing light, it can mean one of several things. More than likely, the door is not closed or is not on properly, and it will show a red blinking light. There could also be a problem with the battery tab not making good contact with the charging points, and that would also cause a red blinking light or perhaps the temperature is too high or too low for the battery to charge. Regardless, if there's a red flashing light and it's not the door, there very well could be a problem with your battery. So I'll put the battery back on, the door back on, and you'll notice that the light now starts charging, showing green. So to remove the batteries is the opposite of putting them in. Just gently take the door off of the charger and pull down and hinge the battery out. We'll do the same thing on this side. Pull down and out and hinge the battery out. And now the batteries are ready to be used. Thank you.